Welcome to chapter 4 for the MATLAB uh, section of Dynamics Modeling Simulation. Uh, and this chapter is all about functions and conditional statements. Now, we've already, in the last chapter, we already um, discussed around making uh, script files where, where they have an extension of .m. But there is another type of uh, file that also has an extension of .m, and that's known as a function. Okay, And basically, functions are um, m files that allow you to do certain tasks. And the main sort of difference in in the way that they work is that functions work with internal variables as opposed to sort of global variables. But let's not worry too much about these details at the moment, um, but they'll hopefully become clearer as we move through. Uh, before we start actually discussing the details of a function file, let's just have a think about how MATLAB works with files in general. Um, basically, MATLAB has a work, you know, current, so I guess, I guess a working directory, which is shown under the current folder window here, and you can see the path for that that um, directory up top. So here I've got a folder called MATLAB Drive, um, and then in there I've got a folder called DMS, Dynamics Modeling Summation, and then I've got a folder called Chapter Four, and that's the that's the sort of folder or the directory where I'm currently working. And MATLAB will always refer to that directory when it's looking for non-standard, I guess, uh, files and functions and things like that. Okay, so you can see that I've, I've got a bunch of files in here, some lots of M files. Okay, and obviously if I wanted to run one of those M files, I would simply type in the uh, the title of the command. So, for example, if I go back to the DMS folder, you can see that last week we had a cube roots thing, and if I typed in cube roots, okay, and then press go, it would run that cube roots script, and whatever that cube roots script did um, would display then um, uh, the in the in the command window there. Okay. Now, if I if I cleared that, okay, and I actually go back to chapter four and I try cube roots again, okay. I run it again. Obviously, it doesn't then for understand what that means because it, it can't see that cube roots file anymore. Okay, so that's obviously why it's important to actually uh, make sure that you're in the correct working directory. Now, one thing you can do if I went back to DMS, okay, and I double clicked on cube roots, okay, and let's say I went back into chapter four here and I actually clicked run up here. The difference now is it will say, okay, well, that, I'm trying to run cube roots. I can't see it, so it comes up saying file user blah 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 cuberoots.m is not found in this current path. Um, and you've got an option, you can either add it to the current path, you could obviously click cancel, or you can click change folder, and it, well, that will change the working directory to be the folder where the cuberoots.m file is living. So if I click that, you can see it goes back to that folder and then it will run the command, run that script.